I'm John Skinner, and this supports my book, Striper Pursuit, and you can learn more about the book at striperpursuit.com. The bucktail I'll be using in this video is a half ounce uh, SNS John Skinner bucktail, and the otter tail strip is the four and a quarter strip, so it's the small one. And I'll also get some fish on a small uh, Mad Mantis pencil popper. And I'll have links to all of the gear in the description of the video. Yay, a new season. Uh, okay, so this is the um, very early part of the season for me. It's in April. The waters are cold. The fish are definitely sluggish. I think part of the reason also is that the day prior to this, it rained hard all day long. It just poured. So uh, I know that didn't help matters any, but it, we're going to get a few fish anyway. So uh, yeah, you know what? I Usually this time of year, it's low and slow. So, uh, you know, a small lightweight bucktail and um, I've got the four and a quarter inch strip on there. I'm casting into maybe 10 feet of water at the most and I have a gentle current. Um, I've got the camera tilted down enough so that you can just about see the bail on there so you can see um, the retrieve speed and uh, yeah I'm just letting it go down current just trying to swim it uh, a little bit off the bottom. Right at this point I've been fishing about an hour so far. Uh, I started in the dark uh, not a touch in the dark and that's not too uncommon uh, early in the season so right now I'm still looking for that first fish of the season one okay always nice to get that season icebreaker fish out of the way hey you know what's like 30 minutes later I still don't have another fish so I'm gonna play with a couple of lures um, yeah I'm <laughs> definitely impressed with the way this, this looks this is a savage gear swim squid wow. You know what, when the fish aren't hitting, that is no time to try new lures. So hmm. basically, I'm just curious about the action. And it surprised me right off. I didn't mm -hmm. think it, it didn't look like it could have that much cool. action to it. But clearly it did. Cast. So um, uh, that's pretty interesting. So I'm going to take okay. one ca cast just to see how it casts. And uh, it's going to go back in the bag and uh, back to the bucktail. All right, besides playing with uh, new lures, I've got some new gear that actually is pretty interesting. I don't know what went on with line like last year or into the winter, but uh, a couple of companies have come out with some new line and wow. Um, so this is Daiwa J Braid 8 Strand Grand and it is very, very smooth. So this is a very impressive line. I really uh, like using it this trip. Definitely less drag in the water, cast great, behaved well. Um, that looks good. Another one that you're going to see in future videos is Berkeley X9. Um, the specs on that line in terms of diameter are extremely impressive and it even seems a little smoother than what I'm using now. So, all right, so the Berkeley X9, the Daiwa Grand J Braid 8, uh, Power Pro Super Slick V2 is out too, and, and, and that also looks good. But yeah, so. You know, if you're in the tackle shop, you might want to check out one of these new lines because uh, they're pretty impressive. And that reel, ah, that's a Tsunami Evict. So, you know, it's um, stainless steel, main gear, and uh, drivetrain, and, you know, as usual, Tsunami, very impressive for the money. So I'm um, uh, enjoying using that reel as well. You know, one of the things I like most about fishing is it's always a surprise. Um, you know what, I, I've had probably three or four very, very light grabs on the bucktail, and it's like the fish are just sluggish, and 
you know what, typically this time of year it's low and slow, but um, you know what, I'm going to throw them something else because I've been casting for about half an hour, haven't had another fish, so I'm going to go to a pencil popper, and uh, hey, it, it can't be uh, too much worse than what I'm doing at the moment, so um, yeah, here we go, that's my first pencil popper cast of the season. And one of the reasons I put a pencil on is that, uh, the, I'm sure you don't notice this, but I've got a new camera. This is a GoPro 7, and one of the good features of that is very good image stabilization. So I'm watching that horizon, like, you know, as I'm doing this. And, uh, yeah, normally with a pencil I'm going to have some shaking, but nothing with the new camera. So, yeah, definitely... Uh, <laughs> Hooking up a fish on that first pencil cast was really a surprise. Uh, you know, you can just never figure out what these things are going to do. Um, you know what? I think the sound on this camera may be better as well. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely happy with it. And after getting one on the first pencil cast, I thought to myself, oh, maybe that's it, you know. Got to use the pencils. Well, probably another 30 minutes goes by with nothing. So let's play with lures again. All right, so the Fisherholic Shad, I got it, J and H. It's got an S and S head. See, I'm pulling it fast because one thing about sometimes the soft plastics with the paddle tails, if you when you pull them hard, they go on their side. So that's what I'm doing with this. You know, this is more just dragging stuff through the water and drag it kind of hard, and it's it's perfectly straight. Looks good. I'm uh, going to take one cast with it, see how it casts, and put it back in the bag. And, um, yeah, try another lure, because like I said, you know, if, uh, I'm not really uh, beating up much on the fish here, so I might as well play with some stuff. So no matter how good these lures look when I test them, uh, you know, with a, a lack of a bite like this, I'm, I'm not going to fish them, because uh, that's l really a bad time to test lures is when you're not getting a lot of hits. But it's a good time to check out action. So this is a Savage Gear Swim Glider. Boy, I didn't expect it to do anything. And ooh, look at this. This was really a surprise. It's got this huge S motion to it. Wow. I just didn't expect that. It just, um, you know, didn't seem like it had anything on it to make that kind of action. But, you know, that's the way gliders can be. Holy crap. All right, well, it's a work morning, so I can't play around all morning here. So I'm going to go back to the, the standards, put a pencil on, try a white pencil. White's usually it's just such a, a good general color, and uh, yeah, see what happens.
so at this point, I thought maybe the fish had, uh, I don't know, got hooked sideways on the other hook or something. Um, I've got like really tiny barbs on here, so it usually doesn't happen. What happened was he actually rolled in the leader and got wrapped up in the leader, so I've got to get him undone. Now, I mentioned most of the other gear. The rod is a Penn Battalion rated 6 to 12 pound test line. Yeah, I really like those Penn inshore rods. Okay, it took a little effort to get him out of the leader, but uh, oh, it's in fine shape and off it goes. So these early morning bites often die pretty soon after sunrise. And uh, this is pushing 8 o'clock now, and uh, sunrise was at 6. So, uh, yeah, it was kind of just a little bit of a uh, surprise to get that fish because I hadn't had one in a while. But uh, what's surprising is that the very next cast, I'm going to end up with another one here. So uh, that was a nice way to end it before I had to get out of here and go to work. So, all right, well, welcome to the new season. And if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to my channel.